Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to move over from Yuzu to Ryu Jinx since Nintendo has shut down Yuzu. So any of you out there that has Kinhank's 12 terabyte hard drive, you're going to notice that certain things will not work on your Switch emulator. That's because Nintendo has shut it down and it is out of date. So let's start off with, head over to your browser of choice. I'm not going to show you in the video, but head over to your browser of choice and just type in the word Ryu Jinx. That's the spelling of it there. Type it in and you're going to find a website. Click download and you're going to get a file that looks like this. That is the file. Put it on your desktop or wherever, somewhere where it's a clean environment like this. That's my opinion. So you're going to extract it with your extractor of choice. I use WinRAR. You can use 7-zip, whatever. And you're going to get a folder that looks like this. Publish. We're going to change the name of that folder and we're going to call it Ryujinx. So R-Y-U-J-I-N-X. Ryu Jinx. We're going to open it up. We're going to make a second folder. We're going to call it. So you make a new folder. You're going to call it Portable. And now when you launch Ryu Jinx right here, not the one above, when you launch this, you're going to see down here it says Importable Mode. Very fast. You mightn't have caught it. It's going to be asking for the prod keys. So we're going to click OK and we're going to shut it down. When you open up Portable, you're going to go to System. And you're going to notice this folder only has one file. You're going to have to find these files yourself. That's pretty easy to find them. If you just type in the name of this fi file into Google, and the, the extension at the end is not going to be .com. It's going to be .phishingnet, you know, just the last word there. You're going to find that website. That website is going to have options for Yuzu or Ryujinx. You download the Ryujinx one. That website is also going to have options for firmwares. You're going to need that. Find the latest firmware. Click on that. You're going to see a little square box that says firmwares. Click on that square box and download the latest firmware. I'm going to go back out here now. Once you open up Re Ryu Jinx. So again, go to tools, install firmware, and click this one. Just leave it in the zip file and you'll notice the firmware will start installing. At this stage now, the only thing you're going to really need to do is tell it where your games are and set up the controllers. But we'll do that in a minute. First thing we're going to do actually is set up your controller. So you go to options, settings. I don't have a controller plugged in now, but you go to input, pick your Xbox controller and, you know, you start pressing buttons. You click this, you press the button. In my opinion, you're going to switch it to pro controller. That's what you do. Controller type, pro controller. So you, you know, press the buttons as is and then press apply and OK. Once you've your controller set up, you're going to need to move this folder here. So we're going to right click, we're going to copy it and we're going to open up our hard drive. So here it is. This is our Hyperspin Kinhank hard drive. Go to Arcade, scroll down here. Sorry, there it is. Emulators and paste it in here. I don't need to do it because I've already done it, and I don't want to erase anything I've already set up. I have graphic settings and things like that for certain games that I've set up. So once you've pasted in here, it's going to look like this. There it is, the folder's down here. That's it. Now, once you're in this folder, open it up from here. I'm not going to do that, because it's going to show the games, which I don't want to do, because I could be technically taken down the video. But I'm going to go back to this version to show you an example because there's no games in it. So I'm going to open up this one. You're opening up the one on your hard drive. But I'm using this one as an example. So as you can see, I have no games here. In order for you to add the games, you go to Options, Settings, and there's a big box here saying Add. You obviously know where they are. Arcade. Collections, and you look for the name of the system. And it's pretty obvious which system we are using. And you go down to it, and I passed it, I believe. Did I? Oh, no, no, I'm looking at the wrong one. I'm saying it's pretty obvious, and I messed up. So, yes, this one, and you say select folder, and you click apply. Then you'll notice all the games will populate in this section here. That is all you need to do with Ryu Jinx for the time being. Close it all down. Now, if you scroll down to the description, 
you're going to get another file that you need to download that I've uploaded for you. So I'm going to open up the hard drive again, download the file I gave you, extract it, and you're going to paste it over here. So I've got an arcade. We're going to go to rocket launcher. And you're going to go to modules and you're going to paste it in here. So the folder is going to look exactly like this. It's going to be called Ryujinx. And inside of it is going to be these three small, small files. So that's what it looks like. If I'm going too fast, my apologies. But that's exactly what it should look like. Go back out. Open up Rocket Launcher UI folder. And we're going to open up Rocket Launcher UI. We're going to tell Rocket Launcher UI that we don't want to use, use you anymore. And we want to use Ryujinx as our default emulator from now on. So we're going to open that up. And it's going to load. And we're going to click here, make it bigger for you guys. And what system do we need to find? So this little option up here is a search option. We are trying to find this one. Now, for me, I've removed all the emulators for the purpose of this video, but you're going to have Yuzu here. I removed it for the purpose of the video. So we're going to say add. What is the name of the emulator you are adding? Okay, it's Ryu Jinx. Where did you install it? Click the magnifying glass. I installed it on my hyperspin. So I went to arcade, emulators, and it should be because we copied it earlier down here. So I'm going to open up the folder. I'm going to scroll down and it will, it's looking for this, the .exe. It's not looking for any other file. It just wants this one. So I say open. What are the extensions that come with this? So I believe the extensions are N, S P and we're going to do a line up and the other one is X C I if I'm not mistaken that's all if I'm going to double check here in order for you to double check you go to your collections you scroll down and I'm going to do it on my other screen so as not to get copyrighted strike hopefully and I'm going to go down to the name of the system and I'm going to look at them there yeah NSP and straight line and XCI. That's exactly what they are. So the module, this is the file I gave you. You're going to search for it. You're going to type or Y and it comes up straight away. If it doesn't come up, that means you've pasted it in the wrong folder. So go back to earlier where I showed you exactly where to put it. So there's the module and that's all you need to do. You don't need to find out GUI path or any parameters or anything like that. Save. Now, default emulator. You're going to have to change it. So click the magnifying glass. And you're going to type in R Y. There it is. And you double click it. And that's it. You have now officially switched from Yuzu over to Ryujinx. I've tried to keep the videos fast and as short as possible. 10 minutes. Roughly about 10 minutes we're running on. We're in 9 minutes. If you have any issues, please let me know in the comment section down below. The reason we're doing this, again, is because Nintendo shut down the other emulator, which means it will not be updated anymore. But now at this stage, when you launch your hyperspin, you're going to notice that from now on, everything is going to work under Ryujinx, which in my opinion is a lot better it has a lot more um, kind of, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, ways to, to fix up a game or to add mods to a game. It's a lot better and all around runs a lot better. Actually, that's the word I was looking for. It runs a lot better in my opinion. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And again, if you have any issues, please let me know in the comment section down below. And if you don't like Ryu Jinx and you want to switch back to Yuzu, just click this and type in Yuzu. I don't have it anymore because I've deleted it. I don't want it anymore. That's why it's not coming up here. But you're going to see Yuzu being right under this, basically. Or above it. One or the other. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks for watching.